How's it going boys and girls? Combo Hiveman here playing some American Truck Simulator. There was a change. There was a big change. I am a kid. I am a kid. I am just like everybody else. And when you get something new or when there's a possibility of getting something new, you can't wait. And you gotta, gotta, gotta have it. So I, well, if you look at the bottom right corner, we now have $645,000 in the previous video. We were close to the 800,000. So um, I bought a truck. I bought the truck that I wanted and I know it doesn't belong in the garage that I have it with because I didn't buy a secondary garage. But I will because I, I need to. I bought a truck. I bought a truck. Don't look at it. Don't, don't look at it. Don't look at it. Don't look at it. Okay. <sighs> That's the truck, ladies and gentlemen. This is the new uh, truck. And, and whoever did this truck actually um did put a lot of work like to put the laptop there and a the cooler there and i put my wallet up there too um i customized a little bit of the steering wheel this is the uh freightliner cascadia you can't do it like that this is the truck that i wanted i have fully customized it the way that i wanted it Minus maybe a couple of things like I'd like to have the uh, the satellite dome on the top of the sleeper. This is a 72 inch sleeper. Um, what? Hold on. I couldn't think of a name for this. So. <clears throat> Yeah, the chrome package is on there. I just, I, I adore this truck. I, I love the look of this truck. I did um, originally have an 18 speed Eaton Fuller transmission. Uh, I did not like it. I didn't like the retarder on it. It just sounded horrible. This truck comes with a an X15 engine, which has 600 and something horses fully fully loaded it is an automatic 90 percent of the trucks now coming on the market are automatic so um doesn't really make a difference you can change it in the settings automatic or manual i've always kept it automatic um just one second All right, so anyway, this is the truck. Lights, I adore the lights. I customize the lights. There's actually a lot of customizations within uh, this truck that you can play with. And everything actually works super nice. I, I really like I like the, the Cascadia in the grill that actually lights up. So anyway, um, we got a load. We got a very short load. So the only thing that I don't like is in the dash now, I don't have my fuel economy anymore. Uh, not sure where it would be in the middle of the dash. I'm looking at where the GPS is. It's not there anymore. So I'm relying on the uh, navigation again for it. So anyway, we got a load to go pick up. So let's go pick up the load and uh, let you guys see what the truck looks like and what it sounds like really. It's got a lot of power. It's got a lot of power. It's torqued for um, heavy haul. So I did customize it for heavy hauling. Again. See me, it's the high RPM like that. The other one would constantly do that. See, this one's doing it too. Not a big fan of that. Not gonna lie. Turning radius seems better. Like I, did, I, I took a little bit of a drive with it. I didn't go too far with it. I 
I just wanted to test it out real nice and quick. Now we are doing a special load today, ladies and gentlemen. I don't know why I have to go through this. I'm pretty sure it was the freight market. Yeah, it was this one. So we were doing this. From Fresno to Bakersfield, GPS is activated. Huge tires. And uh, this is going to be towards one of our achievements. So the huge, no, the huge tires is actually one. It doesn't belong with the other one, which is a machine that is split in like three. I don't think so anyway. Trucks, tanks, we retrofit. Okay, it's one of these. Whole cutscene. Oversized load. That's kind of like gorgeous. Gorgeous. Look at it. Look at it. Uh, mine is the, the, the headshot right in there. I tinted the windows a bit. Um, yeah, pay attention. Avoid any possible conflict with escort vehicles. You know what? They can avoid conflict with me. Continue. All right. Got flashy, flashy lights. Okay, that's just the gate. <laughs> uh, I want better light, though. Uh, see if the goddamn green logos weren't there. That would have been awesome with the logo of the company on there. Okay, let's uh, let's grab it as we do a turn. There you go. Like I said, now this truck is going to be like double the power that we had before. Not enough light. I don't like it. And I don't know what that noise is. It's been doing that a lot. I'm thinking it's just like the skirts rubbing or something. You know what? Ah. Uh... Can I rotate just a bit like this? Because I'm not going to get one during the day because this is such a short load. Where's my end cap? There you go. Alright. Let's see what kind of balls this truck actually does have. Like I'm I'm driving around like this, there's nothing behind me. There's nothing behind me. I don't I don't really feel it. This guy's lane breaking. This traffic should have been stopped. Oh my god, I love the horn. Oh my god, I love the horn. What are you doing? Oh, now that is a horn. I'm not gonna lie, I didn't try it. Okay, so I can feel the weight behind me, but then I can still um, push the acceleration to it. I can still... catch some speed why are we stopping at a red light why what, what's going on here I thought I was exempt from that stuff we good all right so this is a 14 speed transmission. 
Uh, I shift, no shifter on the ground. It's... It's good. Like, the only thing I didn't like about the 18-speed is that every time I activated the retarder, the, um... The RPM would just rev. Exactly like that. And I, I don't know, I just... It, that don't sound right. Not sure what the okay so the top one is my transmission obviously top left I'm looking at the uh, between the cluster of gauges top left is going to be um, my my gear middle is my engine retarder top right is my the time just says Cascadia Freightliner in the middle I don't know what the bottom bar does. Plus there's digits next to it as well. Four, nine zero, 105 kilometers on the truck. The temperature's 18 degrees, our lights are on. I'm sad that I miss, that I miss. I'm sad that I don't have the, um, the fuel anymore in my main dash like in, in the console GPS style thing of a bobber but we didn't have it before and we always worked without it My crew's not working. There you go. I don't think we're going any faster than this. Trying to text and drive at the same time, it's not working out. Sorry about this, boys and girls. <laughs> Don't normally do this. I was just super excited to um, get the truck out on the road today. Unfortunately, it's dark. It's 3.44 in the morning. Uh, we got an hour and 20. Ah. Maybe, maybe, maybe we're gonna hit some light. Daylight. Maybe. I doubt it. Well, it's gonna be around 5 o'clock in the morning. The truck is pulling super good. Uh, by the look of my cluster down there, so... So like I said, I did a little bit of research. On these trucks, real life. Um, I've been a truck driver. I've I've always liked the idea of being a broker operator and I just having my truck and hitting the highway, hitting the road, and then this this is me. So in the last month or so, I've actually done research into all the 2020 models of the trucks that just came out, and Cascadia is number one on my list. 
So I was super excited about this and I looked at everything about the truck. So now what I'm looking at right now in my cluster of gauges in, in the middle console, obviously on the left is the taco ta tachometer, tachometer, it's the tach. The, the RPM and then on the right is my speedometer which is in miles per hour which is fine um, I've changed mine to kilometers per hour obviously when you purchase a truck um, you get to choose dig, uh, miles per hour metric system or, or imperial system um, oil temperature looks fine on the gauge in game doesn't really matter it looks fine um, next one is fuel and diesel exhaust fluid uh, my fuel tank is full, so once my fuel tank starts going down, I'm going to judge and see if the gauge actually goes down as well. This is a good little test right here, and it worked like a goddamn charm. Now, the one next over, though, right below my speedometer. So the speedometer is the one on the right, close to my um, steering knob. Uh, so below the speedometer to the left is my primary and a secondary air tanks primary being a white and secondary being blue now by the looks of it my primary air tank is non-existent so that's obviously just a little glitch in the either the model itself or the game but um I don't have any air pressure, so let's just hope we don't have to use the brakes. Give me a second there. Gonna be the last one until this load is complete. It's getting to be annoying, 36 kilometers. Uh, something a little bit important going on so I just want to focus on that as well but I guess like I said I just I wanted I, I needed this truck to be it's uh, it's it's 11 o'clock at night anyway and I'll be recording a lot tonight countless hours like I don't know why we're only doing 60 anyway like I know this is a big load and all and we are getting some some uh, some daylight that's that truck's got a good sounding engine I'll give it that It's got a really good sounding engine. All right, let's see how we do it up here. This is a tiny little hill. Again, we have priority because this is a specialized load. And that took off like nothing. This truck's got double the balls of what we had before. I love it. Are you lane braking? Come on. You don't need to lane brake. Beep beep to yourself. Hold on, hold on. 
<laughs> we got a horn now. I love it. I love the horn. I love it. I really love it. Um, so obviously I'm gonna want a full fleet. Do I get to run this one? Yeah. I will want a full fleet of Cascadias. Um, probably not all this color. I think I'm gonna make them all unique. Um, this one will be mine. I've already transferred myself from my truck onto this one. Uh, so I will be hiring somebody new because now I have I do have three trucks. Um, I'll hire somebody new, but I need to purchase a secondary garage as well. So I can keep the Cascadias on a different garage. See the RPM going that high? I... I've driven trucks before and the RPM don't go that high. It does, but it shouldn't. I thought it was right here to the right. I'm like, yeah, no, that's not going in there. You know, these you don't get. Oh yeah, you do get the option to park them. Hold on, hold the phone. Before you guys get your load, I want I want me some pictures of that. Look at that with the cop car in the background. This is perfect right here. Take the blinker off and just the parking lights like that and boom. There you have it. That is the screenshot for this video, ladies and gentlemen. We nailed it. We have our brand new truck and I really, really hope that, will you turn the blinker off? I really, really hope that when the game updates, it doesn't take this truck away. I'd skip parking it's just like right here straight ahead boom uncouple and we did it I think I like it 30 out of 50 big in America 4 out of 11 and your dump or something or other something or other i didn't get the chance to see that one but that is it 169 kilometers which was a short one uh level 24 proficiency bonus high value cargo a bonus skill rank level six we should get a point no we don't get a point but ladies and gentlemen there you have it there is the new truck added to the fleet as of today as of this video now the 20 Actually, this is a 2018, but the uh, it is the same model that is out now. So the 2020, they're, dry, they're pretty much identical. Maybe some different options here and there. Nothing too major though. So this is the Cascadia. This is the truck. I love it. I really do. So that is going to be it for this video, boys and girls. I hope you enjoyed it, and I apologize for the texting. Uh, don't forget to hit the subscribe button if you're not already subscribed to my channel. And if you are, I thank you for the support, and I will see you in the next video.